Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jimmy here with One Road. Today we are gonna be using Seafoam Spray to super clean the air intake system, the intake valves, and the combustion chamber of my 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we need to do is to warm up the motor up to normal operating temperatures. Now that the motor is warm, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this upper engine cover. Being that not all cars are the same, you may not have to remove any covers from your motor. Now that we have the cover removed, we have easier access to this clamp. Let's go ahead and loosen up this hose clamp so that I can then pull back this air intake to be able to get the straw inside the throttle body. There we go. Now that I have the air intake out of the way, you can see directly inside that throttle body. What we need to do is use the straw from the sea foam spray system and route it inside the throttle body so that the end of the straw is a quarter inch from that throttle plate. With this straw system, they have this black piece of plastic here that guides the straw in. The short side is the side that's gonna go inside of the actual throttle body. So what we're gonna have to do is trim the straw down on the short side so that it just sits inside the throttle body basically a quarter inch from the throttle plate. Then you take the straw and you install it like that and put your air intake back on. It takes a little bit of wiggling and configuring, but after a while you should be able to get this thing pretty much back on. And there's what mine looks like fully installed. Of course the can is gonna go on this end of the straw. And with the can of sea foam installed on the straw, all that's left to do is to start the car up and bring it up to speed, which is going to be about 500 to 1,000 RPMs above idle. While the motor is up to speed, you're gonna be depressing the button on the top until the entire contents of the can have been emptied, which should take about five minutes. As soon as the can is empty, you're gonna shut off the car and let it do what's called a hot soak. The hot soak is just basically letting all of the can's contents sit inside of the motor, dissolving all of the deposits, so that when you turn the car back on, all of those deposits are going to be burned off. Okay guys, I have the motor running, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it some revs and start spraying the fluid. Go ahead. I'm spraying it. Sea foam is being sprayed into the motor right now, and the motor is at about 1,500 RPMs. You can see there's a little bit of a overspray here, and that's because at one point I had the straw come off. But the entire contents of the can is inside. Right now we are letting the motor hot soak. So this should be about five to 15 minutes. Then we are going to start it back up, and hopefully there's gonna be a ton of white smoke coming out the exhaust pipe. The car is now hot soaking. I'll probably wait the full 15 minutes. Okay, so we are getting tons of white smoke out the tailpipe, and that is a good sign. The directions also say to take the car out and drive aggressively, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Wow, guys, this is pretty amazing. I can actually feel the car has more pickup. The gas pedal just seems a lot more responsive. It's pretty incredible. Well, I'm out driving aggressively, as the directions say, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun, but hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my website at www.oneroadgarage.com for more information. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Peace out.